Are you looking for an affordable podcast setup? Maybe a versatile podcast setup too that you can use for YouTube videos, for live streams, for on-the-go content, documentary-style stuff, stuff with just your cell phone, anything. Well, this setup right here is going to be for you today. What's up, guys? If you're new here, my name is Paul, and I run a channel that inspires other creators that your future is whatever you make it, and I do that through gear reviews, tutorials, and today we're going over another gear review from the Full Aim X5. Well, really, it's the boom arm here um, and this whole podcast setup, but we're we'll going over that today. If that's something that you're into, hit that like button, subscribe for more videos just like this one. Now, if you're familiar with my channel, you know that I've done a video on the X5. I compared it versus the DJI. You can check out that video. It's a good mic for what it is. It, it, it only has like one flaw, and we'll get over that later in the video. But, you know, this is a great setup for getting good audio at an affordable price. And I wanted to do this video on this podcast setup because most people don't really think of lav mics as like a podcast setup or like a live streaming setup. However, it works out great. Everything you see here in this video will be links down below. Now, the first thing I want to start off with is the boom arm because you can't really have a podcast set up without a boom arm. And this boom arm has been super fantastic. This is not a really heavy microphone setup, especially with the wireless. And one of the things that happens when you get like a regular boom arm that's spring loaded, this one is not spring loaded, is when if it's not heavy enough, the microphone just kind of like keeps wanting to go up and bounce up and down. And like this one, like wherever you put it, it stays. Wherever you put it, wherever you put it. So, you know, it's really great. It takes a little bit more force than those spring-loaded ones to move, but once you put it in the spot, it stays there in it. I love that about this setup. It's It makes it so easy and so convenient with this boom arm. It comes with, you know, you, the the regular microphone boom uh, threads you, you got here. Um, and then you just add whatever mic accessories you want to it. You can even get some adapters and put your lighting on it for like a nice overhead B-roll. Um, you can put cameras on this thing. Like the possibilities with this boom arm are endless because it doesn't have springs and it's super sturdy and strong. Like I could put a camera on here. I have put my lights on here for B overhead B-roll. The, the possibilities are endless. You could like even mount it to like a pole to the ceiling and just use it as like a beefy extension arm or something like that for like, you know, another microphone from the ceiling or a camera or anything. So you, the, you gotta really think about this, but the desk mount itself is great. It's like rubber. It's, it's feel, it feels really sturdy. I feel like it's not going to like cause any harm to any desks that I put it on because I mean, nobody wants that. This arm is mounted completely to the whole, uh, mount itself. So like sometimes a lot of the other manufacturers, you can take the boom arm off itself and just have the mount still on your desk where you can mount the boom arm into like another like hole. Well, this the boom arm and everything is all in one. It like rotates. So you can just like move it out of the way, all that fun stuff. Uh, it does that, but it's all just one solid piece. And I like it because it's really sturdy. It doesn't feel like a piece of cheap Chinese boom arm. It's not like the 12 or $13 boom arm is the cheap ones you get off Amazon. Like this one is like a really sturdy, it's made of metal. It's got two different finishes. Actually, this one is black, but it also comes in like a really cool gray. And I think the gray is actually cheaper. So, um, something to consider. And I, I'm not even going to try to say the name of this manufacturer. I mean, they work with full aim. They're like a full aim company uh, is if you look Google full aim, it's pretty much the same exact you know, microphone boom arm, but they are marketing it under another brand name for some reason. So the one down in the description is the one I'm talking about, but it's a great, great boom arm. Like I said, very versatile. And when, and the reason why I like this setup is because you can, if you're doing a podcast on the go or a live stream on the go, you can pack like two of these arms into a camera bag. No problem. And when they're packed down and folded, they're like this big. And then they, you know, extend it out. It's a great little boom arm. Uh, only thing is, it would be nice if they made an even bigger one because I like the design. I like it. It's just, it is definitely for more compact spaces. If you don't want it in a very intrusive arm and you want to be able to push it away and fold it up and get it out of your 
off your desk so it's not taking up a lot of like real estate this is perfect but the boom arm aside you you know if you're doing a live show like this you gotta have one but what makes this up even cooler is the fact that it's completely wireless obviously because you're using the x5 wireless system but like there's no microphone cables you gotta worry about and i mean there are straps that are included with the boom arm for those of you who do use them but like this is a 3D printed mic capsule. And I don't know if, you, if you've probably seen it on my channel where I have a review of like the the handle here. And it's just made by the same friend of mine. His name's Original Dobo. He's got an Original Dobo store. And the, the, the detail is just great in this kind of stuff. This is like a little grip, you know. Now, those of you who will ask, he does not print custom colors. They're always typically black. But he 3D printed me a special color just for me because, well, we're bros, so... If you, if you come bros with him, maybe he'll do that for you too. This is uh, the, the spot, you know, th this microphone has the same kind of cutout. This is made for the DJI mic. However, the Full Aim X5, it is the same size, actually a little bit smaller than the DJI. So it fits in the same exact little mold for it. So those accessories are great. The links to that original Dobo store is down there. This is called the So Free. It's made for turning it into a podcast mic. And so I use it here. It's great. It's got little screws. You can loosen, you can move it around. I mean, it looks like it's a professional um, microphone. However, it's just a 3D print. And see how good this looks on camera? And there's no cables. Once again, no cables. I really like that fact of the, of the setup. And you can choose your thread size and all the adapters that come with it. So there, there's no problems there. Really great des detailed design. Um, and it fits great. Comes with everything you see here. The wind muff, all that stuff is included. It's all $21.99, all links down in the description below. Great. So the last thing we're going to get to here is um, some of the cons to using this setup. Now, you're using the X5, so it's a wireless setup. Um, it's not designed necessarily for this. It's mainly for you to clip on to your shirt or whatnot. And, you know, the little mics, you get two in a box, which is cool because with this setup, you can essentially get two mics for the, all the same cost, you know. So I, I think it's you're, you're just utilizing what you could have for you know other things and can kind of consolidating and deciding how often do you do podcasts how often do you do live streams is it worth investing into really expensive microphone arms or whatever the choice is yours so the the the, the biggest con though is because of that the system is designed for being labs if you get right up into this microphone like this it will distort like my lips are touching the microphone and you're probably noticing some distortion so you gotta kind of sit away from the mic a little bit. Like you don't want to be right up on it. And I have it at level one. So this the X5 has level one, two, three, four, five, and that's great for versatility on the go. And they did that probably for simplicity reasons, so the users aren't having to think about what's negative dB and positive dB. And I have no idea what I need to set it to. I just want to set it to a level and leave. You pretty much can just leave it at one at all times because it's got enough volume. And maybe you might have to hit two or three on your camera depending on how far away you clip it down your shirt but i typically like right now it's on one and i'm just using the camera control to control the rest of the volume so this is a fantastic little setup for podcasts just gotta know the limitations don't get super close to it and you can have a great looking podcast arm for any video any live stream any podcast and then you can have it, pull it out, and have it on the go for great lav mics. The other downside to using the X5 system is that the adapter, if you have an iPhone 15 Pro, does not currently work. The USB-C adapter, it is, well, it doesn't work at all. I thought there was something wrong with my phone originally, but then I found out that, no, it was just this little adapter. So I reached out to Full Aim, and they are actually sending me one right now. They... Um, they just finished the design of the new USB-C one that works with the iPhone 15 Pro. I don't know how they're going to be getting that out to the people who bought the system or if they're going to just sell it as an additional item. I'm assuming that's what they're going to do. That if you need connection to the iPhone 15 Pro, they'll sell it. But like I said, I, I don't take my word for it. I, I have no idea. They're just sending me one so that I can actually reuse it and review it with the iPhone 15 Pro. Everything else, it works great. Straight into your computer. No cables, no wires, straight into your Android devices, your iPhone, older models, all that with the lightning port, works flawlessly. 
All the links to everything you see in this video will be down in the description below. If you like this video, hit the like button, subscribe for more videos, and you guys know that I will see you in the future. And what's going to stink is if you find this video like two weeks after it, uh, it posts, and then you're going to be like, oh man, I can't win it. Yeah, I hate when that happens. You see a video and you're like, there was a giveaway, but I can't win something now because I saw it a year later. What the heck? That's just not fair. This guy is complete.